Centennial Park has denied claims the price of headstones and other monuments could soar as it moves to sell them directly to customers, potentially bypassing local masons. The industry is up in arms, saying the loss of trade could send family businesses to the grave. A monumental row. Masons say their commercial prospects could be chiselled away as Centennial Park seeks to market headstones and other monuments direct to customers. They are proposing that they um, not only sell the burial ground, but they also sell the memorial that goes on top. The cemetery is tendering to sell boutique memorials on a new burial space comprising around 1% of its 40 hectare Pasadena site. It's a small area that we're looking at. We're looking at the model that's best suited for that area. If the tender goes to um, an overseas or interstate company, then none of us in South Australia will have the opportunity to sell. Jan and Mark Nolte fear for the future of family businesses such as theirs. Approximately about 25 to 30 per cent of our main output would be involving Centennial Park. Masons say they just want a level playing field and they're worried that without it, some businesses could be sent to an early grave. It may mean cutting back if these tenders go overseas or interstate. The industry fears the bereaved could also pay a premium for plots. Historically it's shown that if you've got a, a closed shop and you can set the price, traditionally prices are higher. But Centennial Park insists the whole process is geared to find the most competitive price. We will pass on that uh, advantage to the families. Tom Richardson, Nine News.